Okay, so that shows what happens if there is an error. Otherwise, we need to do a couple things. Uh, first of all, we need to update the password. So I'm just going to grab this section. And we're going to do a head we're going to do a prepare. But we're going to instead use an update. So, and we're going to pass in the password. Um, actually, we can't simply just do this. We need to do an MD5. Put pass. And also include the salt value that we discussed when we first set this up. That like that, and then we need to include the email. Okay, so that should be good. We execute that, and we don't need to actually display anything, so let's just close it. So, password gets updated, um, and actually, I was going to do this in separate queries, but I believe we can do both at the same time. Let's go ahead and let me test this. So password equals one thing, and we also need to update uh, the password reset. And this we're just going to pass in an empty string, like so. OK, so that should be fine. Um, that'll take care of updating the password and uh, clearing the reset key. And then the last thing is we need to add alert messages. Ask the user to log in and provide them a convenient link if that's the next thing that they want to do. Okay, and then we clear our input. And finally, we do an include, and we display the form back to the user with the alert message letting them know what's going on. OK, so I believe that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Um, let me just make sure that everything's good to go on that. They don't have any typos. And it looks like, yes, we do. So let me check this. Oh, oops. OK, so save that. Ah, I put the dollar sign in the wrong place. Okay, 
Now let me see if that is what we're doing. Okay, so much better. Um, so let me go ahead and try resetting my password one more time. So here's my latest request. Um, just as an example, let me show you an old request and you'll see the message. Or we should get the message at least. Looks like we need to fix one other thing. Oh, here we go. Let me just change this to input. It shouldn't actually make a difference. Um, email, email, email. Should be okay. I'm sorry. Um, give me one more second here. If I can't figure it out, I'll pause the video and come back to it in a moment. Oh, no wonder. Here we go. I missed adding an extra equals blank. So save that. Now let's try one last time. Okay, so we still have the key in the URL. And it looks like, yes, it does give us an alert message saying that the email, um, in this case, it is valid. But if you'll notice, um, USZ is the last couple digits here. And you notice that's no longer the reset key. So let's go ahead and we just make sure X, G, B. Yeah, here we go. Um, actually, what I can do here is I don't even need to do this. I can just do this. And that should fix the issue. Okay, so hopefully the last fix on this. And it looks like password was updated successfully. Let's go ahead and try logging in. Looks like I successfully logged in with a new password. And as last thing, let's double check. And it looks like, yes, the password reset field was cleared. So uh, that wraps it up for today's tutorial. Um, a bit longer than I had expected it would be, but um, hopefully you stayed with me. And uh, thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to give me an email at ben at killersites.com. Or you can find me on the Killer Sites forums at killersites.com community, where I go by the username Falcon Creative. Thanks for listening.